Police say the teen has a criminal <laughs> record, but he was taken home right after his arrest. And tonight, Fox 45's Jessica Babb is pressing officials on why they didn't do more. She joins us live with the response from Baltimore Police and DJS. Jessica. Well, right now, both agencies are sort of pointing a finger at each other. BPD says DJS made them take the teen home, but DJS says they don't have oversight of the booking process. But one Maryland lawmaker says this is an example of why more needs to be done to address juvenile crime. Off Beeler Ave in Baltimore City, George Moore has called this home for 30 years. The favorite thing about my home is just the peace and feeling safe and feeling secure. Even with a wheel lock put in place, <laughs> someone cracked his car window. Like his window, his sense of security is now shattered. It makes you feel vulnerable. He says many cars on his street have been hit. One example happening days before his car was damaged. On Memorial Day, Baltimore police say a 51-year-old man was trying to stop a group of juveniles from stealing his car. The kids then hitting and kicking the man. Um, there was ambulance up there, fire engines. Ambulance. Two police cars here. Police ended up arresting a 13-year-old boy, took him to DJS, and then brought him back home. No, I think you need to let him... 13-year-old boy did all that shit. They took him to DJS and then took him back home. Like, he didn't even have to catch the bus home. He didn't. His mom didn't even have to come pick him up. He got a ride home for doing that shit. His, his punishment for doing that shit was a getting a ride home. And I'm telling you, man. What's the gas bill for having, you know, like bringing home <laughs> son, 13 year old son teens who have just got fresh off of assaulting somebody in the street? 15. Uh, the police department has to drive them home, too. Yeah, that's a lot of gas, man. Are you talking about. I'm sure, it's in like the tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Everything has a price. On Memorial Day, Baltimore police say a 51 year old man was trying to stop a group of juveniles from stealing his car. The kids then hitting and kicking the man. Um, there was ambulance up there, fire engines, two police ambulance. cars here. Police ended up arresting a 13-year-old boy, took him to DJS, and then brought him back home. No, I think you need to let them, let, let them learn something. You know what I'm saying? They need to understand that what they're doing has got consequences to it. The police report saying even with an extensive violent criminal history <laughs> and imminent danger to the citizens of Baltimore City. Yeah, but he's 13. He has an extensive Start young, man. Not yeah. only that, that, that fucking cunt with the red do rag was doing the same shit when he was 13, yeah. acting like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, bro, damn. old ass niggas, bro. They all oh, right. Right. Oh, fucking exactly. like keeping it a exactly. buck. Dude, they, they lie. Know. They lie, man. Anyway, it's a good that we know that you know, like 10 year olds won't ever be doing this shit though. I mean Surely, oh, bro. They start young. Yeah, yeah, young, young, and uh, and it's like, and it's like, the amount of arrest, man, will blow my this mind boggling. Like, yeah, extensive, you don't, like adult for no reason, bro. You don't get an extensive violent criminal history without being apprehended extensively, because that's how you get the history. Because without being apprehended, there's no history of it. Yeah, so he started. This kid started DJ, at yeah. ten. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe so. He started yeah. getting caught. Started getting caught by like police at ten. <laughs> the police report saying even with an extensive violent criminal history and imminent danger to the citizens of Baltimore City, DJS advised the crime didn't exceed the threshold to be held. It continues to say BPD was required to transport the team to his mother's custody without any stipulations of house arrest. Wow. This is a hey, we gotta hear about We got to hear about a prison pipeline. The pipeline is sending them back home to Mammy. Think about this. Think about this. They'll, no, but that's, this, this, don't miss the point. They're still ending up in prison in droves. Think about it. They're getting treated like this on the regular. And even with this, there's still too many of them allegedly in prison. Without this, you would have to take Montana 
and turn it into a penal colony. Not a bad idea. Wyoming, perhaps. And Wyoming. Because they're populating the prisons in record numbers with this. So he he's going to have to finally like kill somebody before he goes to prison. And then he's only going to go maybe for a few years because he's a juvenile. And then as an adult, he's going to get a fresh start with his criminal record and end up in prison. This is insane. Everything you gliders do to try to help us out, if, the, if this stuff didn't exist, Yo, I mean, my God, you talk about like, yo, you, it would like literally seeing a sun man on the street would be like a seeing fucking Bigfoot <laughs> if it wasn't for this shit, though. We're saying even with an extensive violent criminal history and imminent danger to the citizens of Baltimore City. DJS advised the crime didn't exceed the threshold to be held. It continues to say BPD was required to transport the team to his mother's custody without any stipulations of house arrest. It's, it's a thing of law. It's, it's, they do things and before you know it, go back out and do it again. But a spokesperson for DJS says when it comes to the city, Baltimore police manages the youth booking process and says they don't have oversight of juvenile booking in Baltimore. I mean, there's no reason why he should be out. Under Maryland state law, a child can be detained if it's believed that they are a danger to themselves or the public. And while it's not clear why this team wasn't, the lack of action between agencies has some lawmakers, like Delegate Chris Tomlinson, feeling frustrated. Yeah, there are there's a lot of concerns uh, from legislators, both Republican and Democrat, that, that things are not not quite right in DJS. Even with the new juvenile justice laws passing in the state. If we get down there in 2025 and DJS is still not really made any changes, I think there could be some um, some force changed on the legislative levels. Tomlinson says there's still more work that needs to be done. Something got to be changed, something got to be done. And we did ask BPD numerous questions and are still waiting for their responses. A spokesperson from DJS says while they can't comment on specific cases, when concerns are brought to the, their attention, they take them seriously and make changes if appropriate. Man, these niggas are it, bullshit, bro. When they yeah. say something got to be changed, some got to be done, then when something change, then these niggas just going to complain, man. Fuck them. Yeah, but the way they're talking about it, doesn't um isn't proportional to the gravity of the situation like they're talking well if proposing such and such and if this doesn't happen changes will be no motherfucker these apes are running around harming people on the regular real life people getting the shit kicked out of them in the middle of the street and, george floyd can't even go down and fucking Get cigarettes without getting his ass beat by a thirteen-year-old. Yeah, and you're talking about, uh, you know, I mean, uh, if if they, if in a couple years, you know, things aren't right, we're gonna have to force them. What? That 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 white dude, that that big head white dude, did you, listen to what he says. Changed on the legislative levels. Tomlinson says. Um, some force changed on the legislative levels. Tomlinson says there's still more work that needs to be done. Something got to be changed. Something got to be done. Let me, All right. let me show you this way. Right in DJS. Even with the new juvenile justice laws passing in the state. If we get down there in 2025 and DJS is still not really made any changes, I think there could be some um, some force changed on the legislative levels. Tomlinson says. If we get down there in 2025 and things could be. Yeah, go ahead. Who's this? Hey, it's Joe Hook, the Canadian guy, the Canadian drunk okay, guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you can hear me? Go ahead, man. Yeah, you got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. 
porn bomber energy, dog. Nah, he not a porn bomber. He just be yacked up, man. He be yeah, yeah. Liquored yeah. up. Oh, yo, <laughs> yo, me and him, uh, he be liquored up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him rock. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, DC in the morning, man. Um, tomorrow's show. I guess will be from DC. Um, I may not be able to show videos. Maybe I have to read articles. Maybe I'll have to read articles because um, the Wi Fi will be jacked up. But either way, man, if we got to do a panel, or whatever. Hey, Ak. Yeah, man. What's up, man? I, I just want to say this. Um, see, to earlier when you showed the video, he's looking down. He's, he's like uh, trying to hide uh, his laugh because he knows he's going to get flack from the real ones, right? That he stole the, the, the verbiage yeah. from, from Ak, the, the some man. He knows. That's he why knows. I told you he was. He's trolling. Yeah, I told you he was trolling, man. He keeps saying candy, man. He said he, he looks in the mirror saying candy, man, man. That's all he's doing, man. Well, yeah, salute to him, man. Um, I'm flattered, man. Just make sure you um fucking give a nigga some props for using this slang, man. Um salute to salute. CT, man. Yeah, man. Salute to him, man. Same black time. Same black channel. <clears throat> Peace out.